expectation. Mondays to Fridays. Our morning show is sponsored by All Style Construction. For all your general construction needs, commercial and residential cabinet making, visit their website, allstyleconstruction.ca. The time brought to you by All Style Construction is 6 o'clock. This is Higher Ground Gospel Radio, owned and operated by Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministry. We are located at 3601-118 Avenue, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Streaming live 24-7 at hggradio.ca or download our HGG Radio mobile app from the Google Play Store or Apple Store. Higher Ground Gospel Radio, reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Join Pastor Dean A. Brown for the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. The word of the Lord says this, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, brought to you by the Christ Alive Christian Center, 427. 17 to 19 Vario Avenue, Bronx, New York, USA. fall let it fall let it fall on me lord we welcome your holy spirit now it is not by might nor by power but by my spirit say the lord god of hosts i want the listeners of hgg radio to stand still and see the deliverance of the lord for the enemies you see today you will see them no more your weeping may endure for a night but your joy comes this morning put a smile on your face my friends what the enemy meant for evil god will turn it around for your good you're tuned to higher ground gospel radio let me say good morning to you and you and you thank you so much for making it the hope of glory morning show on this monday morning april 8 2024 mighty god of daniel we're still in the land of the living if it had not been for the lord on our side tell us where would we be saying good morning to our friends on youtube our friends on facebook remember our friends joining us at hggradio.ca our friends on the hgg radio mobile app just reminding you that starting on the 1st of May, which is less than a month away, yeah. normally you join me on various platforms in the morning. But of course, come the 1st of May, in order for you to find me, you're going to have to go to the HGG Radio YouTube channel. That's HGG Radio and HGTM. You can go to our YouTube channel today. So subscribe to the HGG Radio YouTube channel. That's where we'll be broadcasting uh, on uh, on online or on social media. If you want to see me, you have to go to our 
HGG Radio YouTube channel. And of course, you can go there and you can watch these videos. And while you're coming on this morning, remember to like, remember to subscribe if it's your first time. If you have not yet hit the subscribe button, you can do so today, my friends. Also, remember to like the video. Remember to share with your family, your friends. Put it on your WhatsApp status. Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody about what we're doing on this side of the vineyard. Making the time just about five minutes after six o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, right here in the beautiful city of Edmonton. Again, let me say good morning. If you have just joined us, welcome. You're inside the Hope of Glory Morning Show. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Thank God it's Monday. Yeah, man, you have to get up. You have to get ready to go to work this morning. You don't like that W word, right? You don't like the W word. You don't like to go to work. Can you believe it? Hope you had a great weekend, my friends. Let me go on over to our friends over there on YouTube, our friends on Facebook. Joan Mullings, good morning. Elsie Knight, born again. Teresa Jones, Nicole Myers, Mary James. Lira Chambers, good morning. How you doing? Diane Brown, blessings in abundance to you every time, my friend. Kathleen Andrews, blessings. How you doing? Sister Maria, she says, good morning. Rosemary Riley. Sister Pat Henry, blessings to you. Pastor Clive Atkinson is locked in. My friend Michelle Bennett, blessings to you. Joyce and Richards, Chubb Checkers, uh, Janice McIntosh, Angela Hackett, blessings to you. Patrick Watson, how is everything going this morning, my brother? And all those who are locked in, Verna McLeod, thank you so much for being on board. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning, my friends. Coming up in a little while, we're going to make way for our opening prayer. Then we're going to make way for our devotional. We're still on the series, Jesus Comes on the Scene. You know, when Jesus comes on the scene, you know. There's something about when Jesus shows up on the scene. When he shows up, he shows off. I don't know what's happening in your life, but get it ready for Jesus to show up on the scene. Saying good morning to you, Jacqueline Anderson. Blessings, uh, my friend, Brother Patrick says, driving, Brother Roshane. All right, keep your eyes on the road, Brother Patrick. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. I don't want you to get any ticket, you know. Who else is on this morning? Jennifer Thompson, blessings to you. Teresa Hamilton, blessings in abundance every time. So, of course, we're going to open with our devotional. I have a devotional theme, crying out for help. That's going to be our devotional theme this morning. Right after our devotional, we're going to make way for our Bible reading, courtesy of our friends over there at Faith Comes by Hearing. We're still in the book of Jeremiah. You know, when you listen to Jeremiah, it doesn't sound that good enough because they called him a weeping prophet. So that man was always complaining. He was always weeping. He was always mourning. Now, Jeremiah is not the prophets that we're accustomed to nowadays who, who only prophesy new cars and big houses. And uh, let me behave myself. But Jeremiah was that type of prophet who prophesied doom and gloom. Jeremiah would tell you, say, you shall die and not live. Jeremiah would tell you, say, you know, the, the country is going to be captured by the Babylonians. So he always had messages. He always rebuked the kings and those who are in, in certain positions. He wasn't afraid to deliver the word of the Lord. But I believe there was a certain time in Jeremiah's life when Jeremiah said, you know what? Lord, I'm tired of, you know, delivering your word. You know, every time when I go and I release a word, it's doom and gloom. I want to be like the other prophets who are prophesying beautiful things. But I remember there was a point in Jeremiah's life when Jeremiah said, Lord, I can't hold your message within me. I feel the fire shut up in my bones. And that's how I feel sometimes. There are times when I'm lying in my bed. I woke up this morning from about um, 12 o'clock or something. I haven't slept until, <laughs> until now. It's a strange thing. I'm just there on the bed, you know, just, just closing my eyes and so on. But I wasn't really sleeping. But there comes a time when, you know, you have to be real to yourself. There are times when I said, God, I don't want to come to work. I don't want to leave out of my bed this morning. When 
I feel the fire shut up in my bones. I have to say, Lord, I can't keep this word within me. So, of course, our devotional comes our way in just a little while, right after our opening prayer. Of course, our, our Bible reading coming from the book of Jeremiah that comes our way at 6.30. Right after that, we're going to be having our song of the day. Going to tell you more about the song of the day, which comes your way at about 6.40. Then at 6.45, we make way for the program expectation with pastor and teacher Dean A. Brown. I know there's a new message that will be coming this week, so I, you have to stay tuned for the program expectation. Coming up at 7 o'clock, it's going to be time for MPIAW Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. Then I take good care of you all the way until 8 o'clock right here inside the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Again, let me say good morning to you if you have just joined us. Welcome. It is now time for us to pray. Whoever you are, wherever you are, bow your heads at this time. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that you are G-O-D. You are the great God. You're the everlasting Father. You're the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords. You're the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. You're the God who was, is, and is to come. You're the God who's making ways even when there seems to be no way. You're the God who shows up and shows off. You're the God that anoints our heads with oil. You're the God that declares that our cups will run over. You're the God that says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow your people, shall follow the listeners of HGG Radio. God, we thank you for a fresh outpouring of your anointing. God, destroy the yokes and set your people free because we're declaring this morning that whom the Son sets free is free indeed. We thank you, God, for ministering a word to us once more. We thank you, God, for speaking into our spirits, speaking into our hearts. God, we thank you for blessing us in the city, for blessing us in the field, for blessing us in our going out, for blessing us in our coming in. Holy Spirit, take full control this morning. Speak your word directly to us as we listen to your voice. In Jesus' name we pray and we declare that his voice makes the difference. I wanted to type his voice, capital H, his voice. And that's the reason why I love to come to work because I get to hear his voice, his voice, his voice. Just type it this morning, his voice. His voice makes the difference. And when he speaks, he release your troubled mind. I wanted to type his voice. His voice is speaking to you through me. This morning's devotional, crying out for help. Now, when you're crying out for help, you can't keep silent. When you hear the word crying out, you can imagine it was a loud cry. And he cried out saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Our scripture reading this morning comes to us from Luke chapter 18, verse 38 to verse 40. So here we see a man on the street. Let me see if I can confirm that with you. Luke chapter, let me see if I can walk, um, walk you through from verse 35. And it says, And it came to pass that as he come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man, so the man could not see, he was visually impaired, a certain blind man. Now, we know in the Bible when they're speaking about people, they don't normally call their names, only in certain exceptional cases. So we know this man to be a blind man, sat by the side begging, hearing the multitude pass by. In other words, he could hear, oh my goodness, his voice. So you could hear the multitude passing by. 
and he asked what it meant. So he wanted to know what was what was happening here. I'm hearing multitudes passing by. I want to know what's happening here. I see other persons around me being blessed. I want to know what's happening, why I can't receive my blessing. I see persons around me getting their breakthrough, getting their deliverance. Is there something I'm not seeing? I want you to say, it is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. So here we see where this man could not see, but he could hear. He could hear the multitudes passing by. And he asked, what is the meaning of this? And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. So I believe Jesus would have already passed by. Mighty God. Have you ever been in a situation because of your lifestyle, because of your negligence, because of your um, disobedience, you allow Jesus to pass by? So the, the people told him that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And he didn't hesitate, he, and he cried and saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuke him that he should not hold, that he should hold his peace. But he cried out so much the more, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. So he cried one time. He was rebuked, he was blocked, he was stopped, but he cried out one more time. I wanted to type one more time. Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And he went, and, and when he was come near, when he came near to him, he asked him, saying, What do you want me to do for you today? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight. Thy faith hath saved you. Immediately and immediately and immediately. You know, I like big words, you know. Especially when you see words like these words. Immediately. Have you ever been in a situation where God shows up immediately? Have you ever pictured you being in a scenario where you need God to give you that breakthrough immediately? You need to receive that, e that healing immediately. So, and immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God so Jesus shows up on the scene this man did not see Jesus but he heard the multitudes he wanted to know what was happening what's happening in your life you see so much things happening. Are you here of people receiving miracles and persons receiving breakthroughs and persons getting their financial breakthrough, their immigration breakthrough, whatever breakthrough you're seeing, you're hearing. Even when you can't see the breakthrough, you hear people talking about it. You hear people coming to church on a Sunday or a Saturday or a midweek service or a crusade, and you hear these people coming to these services and they are testifying about the goodness of God, but you're saying, God, how comes I'm not testifying? Have you ever been in a situation where you said, God, when was the last time I able to testify? And you know, we can testify that we're breathing. We can testify that we have breath in our bodies. We can testify that we live to see another day. You know, back in the day when persons usually come to a, a certain service, you know, when you have a testimony service, you remember those days? I'm not sure if they still have testimony services at churches, but you know, normally what they would do is just to have a segment designed for testimony. But back in the day, I believe they usually have what is called testimony services. You know, 
when persons usually go up to do testimony, they they in back in Jamaica. I'm speaking from a Jamaican perspective. You know, I don't know if you remember how they usually like if a person is gonna be saying their testimony. It used to be like a format where you know, for example, I'm going up to testify, and I would say, "Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord?" I'm not sure if that was a format, but back in the day, you know, you remember those little old men or old ladies, you know. They'll go up and they say, shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord, church? And they will testify, I was blind and now I can see. You know, and, you know, and they say, pray for me while I pray for myself. You, you remember back in the day. I'm not sure if people testify that way still. But normally, we want to testify. We want to have a nice testimony. You know, some, a lot of us, we like to testify about the big things. We want to, to say, God, bless us with the house, bless us with the car, bless us with the family, bless us with the child, the miracle that took place. Those are the testimonies that we aim, that we aim to do. Janai Campbell says they still do. Shall we praise the Lord? Yeah, man, I remember those days. But this morning, we're speaking about a man who cried out to Jesus. He could not see him. Maybe you're in a situation where you cannot feel him. It's like you're in a situation where you're saying, God, I can't feel you. You're in a situation where you're saying, God, I feel so overwhelmed. You're in a situation where you feel as if you can't breathe. It's affecting your breathing. It's affecting your mind. It's affecting your health based on how you're feeling. You're overwhelmed by the cares of life. But here we see where this man cast all his cares on Jesus. Jesus asked him the question, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus is asking you the question this morning. What do you want me to do for you? Maybe you want to type it this morning. What is it that you want Jesus to do for you? Maybe it's healing. Maybe it's a deliverance. Maybe it's just a breakthrough. Something you want God to do something for you. What is it that you want him to do for you? We're going to pray this morning. As the word of God says that we should not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. We should let our requests be made known unto God. So Jesus came on the scene. This man was blind, but he could hear what's happening around him. Maybe you're not able to see everything, but you can hear. You know, the song, I, I, I recently fell in love with this song. Of course, it's an old song. And it was sung by one of my good friends, of course, when he did the recording here the other day. But I started watching some videos, you know, concerning this song, the, one, the version he sang. And of course, I heard this guitarist, this person was playing guitar and he was playing the words of the song, Pass me not, O gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. So Jesus heard this man's humble cry, crying out, Son of David, Son of David, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. The pressures of life get so difficult and there are times when you have just have to cry out and say, Lord, have mercy on me. And whenever you cry out to God and you say, God, have mercy on me, you will get his attention. And when you get God's attention, you let God know what is it that you want him to do for you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he did it for this man and others in the Bible that we read, God can do the very same for you and I. But we have to get God's attention. If you go to somebody, if you go into a room and you're whispering, nobody will give you attention. But if you go to a hospital, if, you know, normally, you know, you go to the hospital, the emergency area there at the hospital. 
Yeah. And normally, if you don't cry out and if you don't jump and roll and ball and anything like that, mm. you won't get the attention of the the medics who are on that location or the nurses or whoever is working in that medical department. So if you go there normal, quiet and stush or nice or, you know, the words I'm looking for, they won't pay you any mind. They will just say, okay, wait in the queue. We'll be with you shortly. But if you go there and you start crying, oh, Lord, we are feeling pain. And yeah, you get so hysteric and, you know, you, you behave a certain way then you'll get the, the, the medical person's attention. So this man was crying out with a loud voice, Son of David, have mercy on me. I remember back in the day, I, and I shared this with you, there was a certain lady who lived um, close to where I was living when I was living in, on St. John's Road. And whenever this woman of God would wake up in the morning, you know, back in the day, you know, it's not like... It's not the houses that we have nowadays which are soundproof where, you, you know, if a person makes a loud noise in their homes, you can't really hear them. But I remember back in the day, she used to wake up maybe like 3 o'clock in the morning or 2, 1 o'clock in the morning. And she's crying out, I said, mercy, mercy. And she cried out some loud Jesus, you know. And her house is a little bit distant from mine, you know, and I can hear when she's praying in the morning and she's crying out. For the community she praying for the community and so on so i have to respect that woman of god who cried out for the community there were nights when we usually hear gunshots every night before we go to bed it's like the gunshots were alarms to go to is an indicator indication to tell us it is time for us to go to bed and gunshots wake us up in the morning but this woman, she cried out, not sure if it's because we had board houses back in the day and the houses were not soundproof, but she, it was very loud. She wasn't holding back. She wasn't like going beside her bed and just crying out for a community. She actually cried out for the community. And while other lanes and other places around our where violence was rampant in our little area there there wasn't much violence taking place because of this woman of god that was crying out in the community will you be like a will you be that woman of god or man of god that will cry out for your community cry out for your church cry out for your workplace you have some persons who are assigned to certain places to work. It's not for you just to earn a salary, but it's for you to intercede for that workplace, intercede for your, your manager and those who are in charge. A lot of times we're placed in certain places strategically because we're on, a, on an assignment. We're there to pray for the community. We're going to wrap things up in a, just a little while. We're going to pray this morning. The psalmist declared, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The psalmist also said, Hear my cry, O God, and attend unto my prayer. Hear the cries of your people this morning and give us your attention, Lord. God, you said, if my people are called by my name. So this morning, we humble ourselves in prayer. God, we're seeking your everlasting face. God, we ask that you forgive us of our sins as we turn from our wicked ways, as we turn from our ways of iniquity. We ask, God, that you'll bring forgiveness to us. God, you'll heal our lands. You'll heal our communities. You'll heal our family. You'll heal our churches. You'll heal our bodies. God, we thank you for bringing healing and transformation to the lives of your people. God, we thank you for delivering your people this morning. God, we thank you for all our requests that we have made known unto you. You're able to grant our heart's desire. Your word declares that if we delight in you, then you will give us the desires of our hearts. Thank you, God, for showing up once more and showing off. God, let your anointing continue to flow through the airwaves of HGG Radio. Destroy yokes and set your people free. In Jesus' name we pray and we say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. 
on me. Lord, have mercy on me. I've not been doing what I'm supposed to do, but Lord, have mercy on me. God, I pray that you continue to lead and direct me, but God, have mercy on me. I've fallen short so many times, but Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I'm not a saint. I'm not perfect, but Lord, have mercy on me. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to turn, but Lord, have mercy on me. Making the time 6.30 right here on HDG Radio Time now for a Bible reading courtesy of our friends over there at Faith Comes by Hearing. Stay tuned, my friends. There's a blessing with your name written on it. HGG Radio. There's a love flow. Join Pastor Dean A. Brown for the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. The word of the Lord says this, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, brought to you by the Christ Alive Christian Center, 427. 17 to 19 Vario Avenue, Bronx, New York, USA. It is now time for Bible reading courtesy of our friends over there at Faith Comes by Hearing. Our scripture reading this morning comes to us from Jeremiah chapter 24 and Jeremiah chapter 25. I want you to listen and right after our scripture reading, we're going to make way for our song of the day. Stay tuned, my friends. HGG Radio chapter 24. The Lord spoke to me in a vision after King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia had come to Judah and taken King Jehoiakim, his officials, and all the skilled workers back to Babylonia. In this vision, I saw two baskets of figs in front of the Lord's temple. One basket was full of very good figs that ripened early, and the other was full of rotten figs that were not fit to eat. Jeremiah! The Lord asked, What do you see? Figs, I said. Some are very good, but the others are too rotten to eat. Then the Lord told me to say, People of Judah, the good figs stand for those of you I sent away as exiles to Babylonia, where I am watching over them. Then someday I will bring them back to this land, I will plant them instead of uprooting them, and I will build them up rather than tearing them down. I will give them a desire to know me and to be my people. They will want me to be their God, and they will turn back to me with all their heart. The rotten figs stand for King Zedekiah of Judah, his officials, and all the others who were not taken away to Babylonia, whether they stayed here in Judah or went to live in Egypt. I will punish them with a terrible disaster, and everyone on earth will tremble when they hear about it. I will force the people of Judah to go to foreign countries where they will be cursed and insulted. War and hunger and disease will strike them, until they finally disappear from the land that I gave them. HGG Radio. After 25. In the fourth year that Jehoiakim was king of Judah, which was the first year that Nebuchadnezzar was king of Babylonia, the Lord told me to speak to the people of Judah and Jerusalem. So I told them, For twenty-three years now, ever since the thirteenth year that Josiah was king, I have been telling you what the Lord has told me, but you have not listened. The Lord has sent prophets to you time after time, but you refuse to listen. They told you that the Lord had said, Change your ways. If you stop doing evil, I will let you stay forever in this land that I gave your ancestors. I don't want to harm you, so don't make me angry by worshipping idols and other gods. But you refuse to listen to my prophets, so I, the Lord, say that you have made me angry by worshipping idols, and you are the ones who were hurt by what you did. You refuse to listen to me, and now I will let you be attacked by nations from the north, and especially 
by my servant, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia. You and other nearby nations will be destroyed and left in ruins forever. Everyone who sees what has happened will be shocked, but they will still make fun of you. I will put an end to your parties and wedding celebrations. No one will grind grain or be here to light the lamps at night. This country will be as empty as a desert because I will make all of you the slaves of the king of Babylonia for 70 years. When that time is up, I will punish the king of Babylonia and his people for everything they have done wrong, and I will turn that country into a wasteland forever. My servant Jeremiah has told you what I said I will do to Babylonia and to the other nations, and he wrote it all down in this book. I will do everything I threatened. I will pay back the Babylonians for every wrong they have done. Great kings from many other nations will conquer the Babylonians and force them to be slaves. The Lord God of Israel showed me a vision in which he said, Jeremiah, here is a cup filled with the wine of my anger. Take it and make every nation drink some. They will vomit and act crazy because of the war this cup of anger will bring to them. I took the cup from the Lord's hand, and I went to the kings of the nations and made each one of them drink some. I started with Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, and the king and his officials were removed from power in disgrace. Everyone still makes insulting jokes about them and uses their names as curse words. The second place I went was Egypt, where everyone had to drink from the cup, including the king and his officials, the other government workers, the rest of the Egyptians, and all the foreigners who lived in the country. Next I went to the king of Uz, and then to the four kings of Philistia who ruled from Ashkelon, Gaza, Ekron, and what was left of Ashdod. Then I went to the kings of Edom, Moab, Ammon, and to the kings of Tyre, Sidon, and their colonies across the sea. After this, I went to the kings of Dedan, Tema, Buzz, the tribes of the Arabian Desert, Zimri, Elam, Media, and the countries in the north, both near and far. I went to all the countries on earth, one after another, and finally to Babylonia. The Lord had said to tell each king, The Lord, all-powerful, the God of Israel, commands you to drink from this cup that is full of the wine of his anger. It will make you so drunk that you will vomit, and when the Lord sends war against the nations, you will be completely defeated. The Lord told me that if any of them refuse to drink from the cup, I must tell them that he had said, I, the Lord, all-powerful, command you to drink. Starting with my own city of Jerusalem, everyone on earth will suffer from war, so there is no way I will let you escape unharmed. The Lord told me to say, From my sacred temple I will roar like thunder, while I trample my people and everyone else as though they were grapes. My voice will be heard everywhere on earth, accusing nations of their crimes and sentencing the guilty to death. The Lord All-Powerful says, you can see disaster spreading from far across the earth, from nation to nation, like a horrible storm. When it strikes, I will kill so many people that their bodies will cover the ground like manure. No one will be left to bury them or to mourn. The Lord's people are his flock, and you leaders were the shepherds. But now it's your turn to be butchered like sheep. You'll shatter like fine pottery dropped on the floor. So roll on the ground, crying and mourning. You have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Listen to the cries of the shepherds as the Lord's burning anger turns peaceful meadows into barren deserts. The Lord has abandoned his people like a lion leaving its den. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying thanks be to God. You've just heard the reading there of Jeremiah chapter 24 and Jeremiah chapter 25, courtesy of our friends. Over there, faith comes by hearing. You're, th you're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. 
now time for a song of the day comes to us from Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. Title of this one, My Help Cometh from the Lord. I want you to listen, listen, and be blessed. HGG Radio. Son of the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir and this one, my help, all of my help coming from the Lord. It's a song of the day for today, Monday, April 8, 2024. Right here inside the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Of course, coming up in a little while, we're going to make way for the program expectation. Comes your way at 6.45 Mountain Standard Time. If you're in Jamaica, it's 7.45. If you're on the Eastern Time Zone, it's going to be 8.45. Stay tuned, my friends.
You're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio, making the time just about 6.45. Time now for the program Expectation with pastor and teacher Dean A. Brown of the Christ Alive Christian Center, 4217 to 19 Vario Avenue, Bronx, New York, USA. Welcome to the Expectation Broadcast, the radio outreach of Christ Alive Christian Center with pastor and teacher Dean A. Brown. Please stay tuned to the end of the broadcast for more information. And now your host, Pastor Dean A. Brown, with today's teaching. Let us pray. Father, we're just so thankful and so grateful for your presence. We celebrate your goodness. We are so glad to be in the house of the Lord today, and we're, we're so glad. Father, the, the songs are so refreshing. As we worshiped in singing, Father God, so refreshing. And just reminded as well about the process and reminded, Father God, uh, uh, about the fact that you, are, you can work a miracle in a moment of time. There, there are no limitations with you. And we just need to do what we need to do and keep trusting you the whole way and watch you work all things for our good. And Father God, as we go into the teaching today, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who is our teacher and our guide. We're trusting him once again to unveil, to unfold, to reveal the word of God unto our spirits. We are believing for deposits of grace and for impartations of truth so that when we leave from here, we'll be able to say it was good that we came. Thank you for the anointing you've placed on my life. And thank you for making my tongue as a pen of a ready or a skilled writer. And I declare once again in faith that we are not just hearers of the word, but we're doers of it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. After teaching part four of the series, Spirit Strong, I actually felt like, okay, I'm done. Praise God. Amen. And I have truly enjoyed teaching this. And I, I chuckled to myself because as much as I said I was done inside, I thought I was done, I, I, I stayed open to see if the Lord would have anything else to say on the subject. And then I was speaking to one of our members, and in speaking to the person, I mentioned that I think I'm done. And the person said, no, 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 no. You got you, 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 you to gotta give more to this. There has to be more to it. Amen? And, you know, I, I, I pondered on it, and some things began to awaken in my heart. I was being to think about some things, and then I moved away from them to, you know, um, you know um, I was going to talk about love. You know, with, with Valentine's Day coming up, you know, and so forth and so on. Because I've been pondering this, this truth. You know, because they're individuals who are, um, they're amazing in the things that they do for Valentine's Day to the person they say they love. But the other 364, or in this year, the other 365, they do nothing. And I asked myself the question, you know, if you can work at it on, for one day, why can't you work at, on it for 365 days, for every single day? You can, be, you can be a nice person of love every day. Amen? And so we're going to, we're going to talk about love and have some nuggets. Ah, but then the Lord is so nice. Amen? He brought me right back to what I've been pondering on. And, you know, we, we have been dealing with this issue of spirit strong. The last time we, in part four, we spoke about growing our inner man through the light of God's word. And, of course, our, our theme text, Proverbs twenty twenty seven, the spirit of man is a lamp or the candle of the Lord, the King James says, searching all the inner depths, you know, or the inward parts, that King James says, of the belly. Amen? The spirit of man. Is in the innermost part of man. Man is spirit, soul, and body. And, and so we, we, we looked at the issue of growing our spirit man through, through the light of the word. The word is a lamp unto my feet and the what? Light unto my path. Amen? We, we looked at scriptures that speak to us about being doers of the word and not hearers of, uh, uh, only. And, and, so, and we spoke about revelations that come by the Holy Spirit. And we spent a significant period of time in the message dealing with that. But then today, we're going to talk about, in this part five, dealing with and destroying the power of the flesh. I, um, I, as, the, as the Lord began to speak to me, I, I didn't even have the title until this morning when I was upstairs in my office. 
um, because everything was just being reworked. And for those of you who, who teach, let me say this. Study and preparation is a vital part of the process. Being willing, though, to listen to the Spirit of God is also very, very important. And what, what I do when, um, when I'm unsettled, I don't really push myself one way or the other. It's kind of wait. You know, it's kind of like you know, stay in that place of limbo and just wait to see. Amen. And um, one of the things that the Lord said to me this morning was this, that even as we are working to grow our spirits, there must be a parallel action to put our flesh under. Amen. Amen? There must be a parallel action to deal with the flesh. Okay? That, That natural nature that has cravings and desires... Come on now, that are, that, are, that are not in line with the Word of God. Now, now if we stop and, and really think deeply about this, the flesh is something else. Okay? There are some folks, for example, who, are, you know, I'm not by nature a self-motivated exerciser. Okay? I am, um, that is why for me, Working with a trainer works perfect because I've made an appointment to see you on this day and time, and I'm going to show up. Amen? Or if I had a workout partner, we agreed to meet every day at this place, you know, I'm going to show up. But there's something about the flesh, if you're not naturally motivated in this area, right, that you'll get up in the morning, okay, and, and then all of a sudden, the flesh said, Why? Now, let's be honest. Why? Amen? There's something about the flesh. You, you will be learning about healthy eating. I heard someone say, oh, my goodness. <laughs> You'll be learning about healthy eating, right? And, and, and then what happens, right? You go to the buffet line. And there are things on there you can eat, which is fine. But then there are some stuff on there. Lord, have mercy. When your eyes catch them, before you ever taste it, you have, your mouth. You, no, I'm, let's be honest. You, 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 can, you, you, you smell it, and your mouth is envisioning the, the, the taste when it gets in it. And everything in, is, is saying to you, one side you're saying, don't. Come on now. Amen? The flesh. And we have to deal with it. Denying its existence is not going to work. So the Lord said there has to be a parallel work going on. While I'm working to build the inner man, I must also be doing what I need to do to bring the flesh under. Destroy the flesh the power of the flesh. Go to Romans chapter 7. As the Lord began to quicken my spirit, I began to realize something. He, he, you know, he showed me all these things that the apostle Paul had to say about the flesh issue. And we need to realize this, that um, Paul is the one who taught us so many things about grace. You know, about the redemptive grace of God, about what happens in our spirit through the new birth and all those kind of things. I mean, the revelation that God gave Paul is, for lack of a better term, is progress. Amen? And listen to this. Now, we're going to start at verse um, 14, and we're going to read on through. The the Bible is going to speak to you, even though I'm going to say some things on top of it. Amen? Amen? For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. Speaking about the natural man, carnal. For what I'm doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. In other words, I know I, I want to do right. And, and, and I'm not practicing it, and all of a, but I'm doing the opposite. We all been there. Amen? And you know, we, we all have been there.
If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. So he's speaking about the nature and the character of sin dwelling in him and manifesting itself. Okay? Let's read on. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh. In my what? In my flesh. In my flesh. Nothing good dwells. Nothing good dwells in the flesh. And as you read through the scriptures, you're going to realize how true that is. And if you're honest as a person, you'll realize how true that statement is. Nothing good as in the flesh. The flesh is never content with what's good for it. No, it's always pulling the other way. In the hotel I was in this week, there in Jamaica, I mean, they had an amazing breakfast buffet. I mean, I'm serious. Boiled bananas. Boiled, you know, yellow yams. Boiled flour dumplings. And I'm not a cornmeal dumpling guy. I'm a flour dumpling guy. So when I saw the flour dumplings, you know, it says, hello, Dean Brown. <laughs> but I'm committed myself to minimize processed flour. Amen? Okay? Then you move from there, all right, and there's fried plantains. All right, mackerel rundung. For those who know what that is, God bless you. For those who don't, let the ignorant be ignorant still. All right? But you can hear the Jamaicans in the room when I said that. All right? Then you move from there, there's ackee and saltfish. This is every day. I can't saltfish, okay? Fried bammy. That's cassava. All right. Thank you for listening to the Expectation broadcast. Expectation is an outreach ministry of Christ Alive Christian Center and Dean Brown Ministries located in the Bronx, New York. If you would like to receive a free copy of the message you have just heard, or any other message that is broadcast here on Expectation, email your request to ChristAliveRadio at yahoo.com. Again, that's ChristAliveRadio at yahoo.com. The motto and the theme of our ministry is empowering people to be a blessing in their generation. And so we believe that in listening to the messages, you will be empowered and you will be blessed in order to be a blessing to others. If you'd like more information about Christ Alive and Dean Brown Ministries, simply go to our website, christalive.org. Again, that's christalive.org. There you will also find links that will allow you to watch our services as well as to listen to past messages. You can download the app or you can go to our podcast. So many different ways that you can hear the wonderful messages that God has placed in our hearts to share with you. Not only messages that I preach are available through the website, but also messages that have been taught by other wonderful gifts of God that God has placed in our midst or who have come to be a blessing in our church. Again, you can receive a free copy of the message by emailing us at ChristAliveRadio at yahoo.com. Keep this thought in mind. Without expectation, there can be no manifestation because your expectation is your faith in action. God bless. Thank you for listening to the program Expectation with Pastor and Teacher Dean A. Brown of the Christ Alive Christian Center, 4217 to 19 Vario Avenue, Bronx, New York, USA. Join us again tomorrow morning at 4, 4, um, not 4, what, 645 Mountain Standard Time for another program. Stay tuned. 
Join Pastor Dean A. Brown for the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, right here on HGG Radio. The word of the Lord says this, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That's the program Expectation, Mondays to Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, brought to you by the Christ Alive Christian Center, 4217 to 19 Vario Avenue, Bronx, New York, USA. Calling all believers, are you continuing steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine? Join us right here on HGG Radio, Mondays to Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. EST for a new and exciting Bible discussion program, The Apostles' Doctrine. Come and hear the word being rightly divided by dynamic preachers and teachers. It's The Apostles' Doctrine, hosted by Minister Tyrone Reed, weekdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST. Come for the fellowship, stay for cerebral conversations and all things scriptural. Lower Morning Show is sponsored by All Style Construction for all your general construction needs, commercial and residential cabinet making. Visit their website, allstyleconstruction.ca, or give them a call at 780-484-GG Radio. Come on, somebody praise him right now. We give you glory, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercies and your grace. Hallelujah. So many people right now, they're hurting. They're in pain with no one to help them. But I came here to encourage somebody today that weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. So many people are homeless right now. So many people are suffering financial setback. But I hear God is saying right now that he's going to restore whatever the conqueror, whatever the caterpillar, hallelujah, has eaten out of your finances. Every door that was closed, hallelujah, in front of you, God is about to open some more doors. Come on, open up your mouths and lift your hand and begin to worship. Lift up your hand right now and say, Lord, open some doors for me, God. Every door. Uh, doors will be open from the east, west, north, and the south. We believe that, hallelujah, the people have suffered mighty long enough. But I came here to tell somebody, don't give up. Your blessing, your blessing, and your miracle has already been approved. Just lift your faith right now, hallelujah, as we give God glory. We feel your glory. We've just lift your faith this morning as we give God the glory, as we give God the praise for what he's doing and what he continues to do. We serve a great God, my friends, one that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. It is now time for MPIAW Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action and Worship and joining me at this time is Elder Edmund Muir. Good morning, Elder Muir. How are you doing this morning, sir? Morning, morning, Sir Douglas. Good morning to you. I am doing well. How about you? What's going on? What's going on this morning, sir? God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Just giving God thanks for his many benefits. The Bible declares, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is in me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. So I'm thanking God for his benefits this morning. How about you? Amen. Glory to God. I, I really I really love that you have just said that. You're thanking God for his benefits because I want to talk about benefits this morning. You know, it's always good to give God thanks. Amen. Amen. So over to you, Elder Muir, and I want you to go ahead and just remind the listeners who is Elder Edmund Muir, and then you can just go straight into the word that the Lord has for the listeners this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. I want to use a phrase this morning that I, I, I heard my uncle saying um, in the past. You know, I'm a person that God has taken from disgrace to amazing grace. <laughs> Oh, glory to God. I am a father of, of three girls, a husband of one wife. 
and um, the assistant pastor of the Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministry under the leadership of Pastor Clive and Lady Atkinson. Glory to God. I am originally from um, Jamaica, now residing here in Canada, and just I enjoy doing things of God and, you know, just uh, loving the people of God. God bless you this morning. Let me just pray before I go on any further in the name of Jesus. Father, you are God. There is absolutely none like you. I exalt you. I pray you will wash. I pray you will keep. I pray you will sanctify this lump of clay this morning. Oh God, as I give you glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Take full control, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, this morning, people of God, we are faced with various situations in our lives. And I like to use the word situations because there's so many things that are happening on a daily basis. And before I go any further, I just need to say good morning to all the wonderful listeners here on HGG radio praise the name of jesus so, yes yeah, so there are so many things that happen to us on our daily lives our walk with god our journey praise the name of jesus and i remember the journey of abraham abraham was with his father but the lord appeared the lord the lord told him to leave all that he had because he had a work uh, that is set out for him. Abraham was a man, a great man, a man that, hallelujah, his, his, his name is etched in history because he was obedient to God. Hallelujah, glory to God. But as Abraham was leaving, praise the name of Jesus, uh, he had no idea what he was going to. Oh, glory to God. But he obeyed the voice of God because he knew that there are some benefits that God had for him. Praise the name of Jesus. So there's a scripture in the Bible that, hallelujah, says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you this morning people of god hallelujah our minds become bombarded by various situations our minds become strained praise the name of jesus because there are many things that we cannot understand hallelujah we don't know why things are happening in in a manner that we feel defeated we feel hurt we feel bruised sometimes we feel uh, ostracized we feel like we're pushed aside Oh, glory be to God. We look sometimes at others and we see, hallelujah, prosperity blooming in their lives. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It seems brighter on their side of the world. It seems greener over there in the, their, oh God Almighty, garden of life. But I'm here this morning because of the grace of God to let you know that there are benefits uh, to serving God. Hallelujah. I, I, I like to take my conversation from the basis of plants. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I remember in Jamaica, I planted a tree. Glory to God. And as I planted this tree, it was a jackfruit tree because I enjoyed jackfruit. Praise the name of Jesus. I planted mango trees as well. I planted all different types of fruit trees. But, but, but as I was there, in Jamaica, all the fruits started bearing, but not the jackfruit. And and, and 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 for a moment I was thinking, moments I was thinking like uh, I'm gonna get rid of this tree, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, I had pear tree bearing beautiful, wonderful pears. Glory to God, hallelujah. And the jackfruit was planted before the pear. Glory to God. I had plum trees coming, hallelujah, and the jackfruit was planted before the plum. I want you to listen to me, people of God, hallelujah, hallelujah. And as uh, I contemplated getting rid of that tree, praise the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah. You know, I, I received a 
For years it did not bear, but I received a message that the tree is now fruitful. Oh, glory to God. Which brings me to the parable in the Bible. The parable, hallelujah. The, uh, the man said to God, give me some time with that tree. Let me mold it up first, in other words, and see if then you can get rid of it if you're going to kill it. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes uh, I want you to understand, people of God, that your blessings and your benefits may take a little longer. But when it comes, it's going to come at the right time in your due season. And that is why yeah, every Christian must understand the concept in Ecclesiastes. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Because everything hallelujah have a particular time and season and the bible says that everything is the vanity and vexation of spirit uh, sometimes when, when when time goes along we become impatient uh, hallelujah we stop exercising the faith uh, the faith that is needed to pull your blessings down now because time sometimes throw you some things uh, hallelujah unimaginable it takes you through some hills and some valleys uh, you got to face some so, some goliath and some so some some praise the name of jesus of uh, beers you got to, to face some some venomous snakes along this path uh, so your faith becomes eroded and not recognizing hallelujah that your blessings and your benefits it's already on the way it's just the process that is taking place oh glory to god hallelujah and that is what was happening now with that jackfruit tree whilst the others were bearing the, that that jackfruit tree was just there assimilating hallelujah was just there enjoying nature was just there establishing its roots oh glory be to god God. That tree was there taking anchor. What do I mean by that? Uh, that tree was there, people of God, uh, just going down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Establishing itself underneath. Praise the name of Jesus. Uh, where the roots will grow big and mighty. And they would go down and they will go to the various layers in the soil. Uh, so that they will be exposed to the minerals so they can suck. Uh, hallelujah. From the roots years oh glory be to god can i tell you that whilst it was growing on the top and everything else was blooming it was getting ready to produce because hallelujah glory to god those tiny things on the base can i tell you people of god it is the tiny things at times that brings forth your benefit and your breakthrough and this is why it's important for us to pay attention to the tiny things not only that the the tree hallelujah glory to god the part that was seen hallelujah was producing no fruit uh, but underneath hallelujah it was getting ready to produce uh, the fruit oh glory to god hallelujah it means in the darkness uh, this is where the roots uh, were being established uh, somebody is going through the worst time in their life right now uh, your life is overshadowed by darkness uh, but the bible says hallelujah glory to god uh, when hallelujah that light shines in glory be to god uh, then the darkness will not comprehend it. Uh, the darkness was a time, hallelujah, that is used by the plants uh, underneath the surface. Uh, oh, glory to God, to establish itself, uh, to gain a firm, firm foundation uh, that you cannot be moved. Uh, when the winds come, when the storms come, uh, with that foundation, you cannot be moved. Uh, I am saying to the people of God this morning, uh, that you may have been going through your storm you may have been going through your situations hallelujah but hallelujah there are benefits to come praise the name of jesus as we examine the bible when we look into hallelujah the hall of fame in the book of hebrews 11
11, we realize that all these men and women, as they were going through, uh, before they could reap their benefits, they had to go through hard times. They had to go through challenging times. They had to go through the test of time. Oh, glory be to God. But one thing was for sure, uh, that they maintained their integrity. One thing was for sure, that their faith never wavered. Hallelujah. It takes faith, hallelujah, to continue on this walk. I want to tell you that we have a hope. Oh, our hope is Christ Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. And that hope will give you all things. That hope will give you some benefits that even your mind cannot fathom. The Bible says, hallelujah, that he will give you, hallelujah, more than you can ask or think. Pause for a moment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If the Bible says more than you can ask or think, it means, therefore, that God has, hallelujah, power to give you things beyond this dimension. He has the power to give you things beyond what our mere little minds can conceive. It means he has power to turn things around. Oh, glory be to God. He has the power, hallelujah, to give us some things hallelujah glory to god uh, that the king of uh, this world don't have uh, oh that the prime ministers in this world don't have uh, he has power to give us some things that is not even yet in creation uh, oh glory be to god uh, some things that only god have in his mind for us his people hallelujah glory to god uh, the bible let us know that enoch walk with god oh glory be to god hallelujah and was not uh, hallelujah glory to god uh, can i tell you that when you walk with god even death becomes afraid of you uh, oh glory be to god that's a benefit uh, the man was so hallelujah glory be to god good uh, in walking with god allowing god to do his his will in his life uh, uh, that god looked at death and said dead to you shall not have him oh glory be to god the bible records uh, he not been translated oh hallelujah glory to god uh, the bible also spoke about another man called elijah as elijah walked the face of this earth we saw where many miracles were wrought through him uh, elijah had faith at, a, at one point hallelujah he wanted to give up but his faith was restored uh, and the bible said that he went up to heaven oh glory be to god not seeing the death of mankind i'm saying to you that god will defy even the very hallelujah nature just for your cause just to bring you into the place where he wants you just to pour out in your life uh, just to change situations around you oh hallelujah i don't know who i'm speaking to this morning huh? but you could be in the prison cell huh? oh glory be to god you could be hallelujah in the in the doctor's room hallelujah you could be laying in the hospital bed uh, oh glory be to god you could have received the worst report ever i am saying hallelujah that god is able to do exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ask or think i am saying to you that we have a hope in god this morning i am saying to you that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I am saying to you that you serve a God that will give you all things. The Bible said, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. That Jesus gave his apostles, his disciples a parable. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. As we go into Luke chapter 18, there was a man, a man, a man, a man. He was hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, a great man. But the Bible said that there was a woman, hallelujah, that came to him, hallelujah. And the woman did just not come to him and leave things alone. But the woman continued to come to this unjust 
judge and as he, 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 he the unjust judge looked at the woman coming to him uh, the mind of the unjust judge it was changed to help this woman uh, as the bible would have said because uh, uh, the woman would would, would, would would accept the woman continued to torment uh, uh, or just to, to, to continue to perplex uh, this unjust judge the judge said i'm gonna give him oh god almighty i'm gonna give her hallelujah what she wants and then the bible says that uh, jesus said how much more your father if an evil man knows how to give good things how much more your father in that relationship you have been struggling oh glory be to god you have feel you have felt the pain hallelujah but brokenness but god wants to give you more but you have to have faith and exercise faith look to god come on people of god we need to go to god hallelujah we need to pray instant to god hallelujah without season hallelujah because God has some benefits uh, that all you have to do is ask. The Bible says, knock uh, and it shall be open. Ask and it shall be given. What is your situation this morning? What do you want from God? Hallelujah. Because I'm here to tell you that what you want from him is nothing to be compared to what he wants to do for you. Hallelujah. This songwriter says he will do it for you. Oh, glory be to God. I am saying to you, he will do it for you. Oh, hallelujah. The songwriter also says, Oh, only a look at the crucified one. Just one look, hallelujah, will turn your life from sin and will allow you to come into the inheritance that God has for you. The Bible says we're the sons of God. Why? Because we're led by the Spirit of God. And if you're led by the Spirit of God, then God has some, some benefits towards you. Why worry? Hallelujah. When you can pray this morning, you can pray your way to victory. You victory, you can pray your way out of your situation and allow God to pour into you this morning in the name of Jesus hallelujah what more do you want god to do to hold on to him this morning to realize that he is a god that will give you what hallelujah your heart desires the good desires of your heart and that's why the bible says hallelujah from the book of luke 18 that men ought always to pray and not faint because our god is not unjust he's a just god he's seen uh, your life hallelujah the bible says that there is nothing hidden from god don't believe uh, that that little concern you have uh, is left unheard oh glory be to god don't believe uh, that what is happening around you is left unseen God sees and he knows, but he has some benefits. Benefits, somebody say benefits. Benefits with your name written on it. Benefits that God has put aside before the foundation of the earth. Benefits, hallelujah, that you have inherited from the lineage of Abraham. When Abraham was promised, hallelujah, I will bless thee hallelujah glory be to god i want someone this morning to believe in the blessings of god because he's not only gonna bless you physically but he'll bless you spiritually he'll bless you emotionally i want to tell you that our god is a god that gives his people combo oh praise the name of jesus he's gonna pour into your life he's gonna let it overflow like the songwriter would say fill my cup lord uh, fill it up uh, he's gonna fill it up hallelujah hallelujah and let it overflow in your life uh, exercise faith hallelujah like rahab the harlot uh, exercise faith uh, hallelujah like david the king uh, exercise faith like Sajak, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, people of God, this morning, exercise faith like Joseph that was sent in the pit. 
Oh, glory be to God, Peter, prison palace. Oh, glory to God. God's benefit takes you down before it takes you up. Well, you may be down now, but the benefits of God is going to be poured in your life by faith. Hallelujah. The struggles that you're going through is temporal. It is only there to bring you to the place to receive from God. Hallelujah. When he, oh God, glory be to God. When he's getting ready to pour out a blessing upon you, things become harder. Your life seems darker. Oh, glory be to God. You seem like you cannot go any further. If that's happening to you this morning, I want to tell you, it means God is coming through for you. Believe. Hallelujah. My, you're a chosen vessel. Believe. Glory to God that God is going to turn. Hallelujah. Things around. Believe that God will stop time for you. Believe that God, hallelujah, will extend years upon your life because ah, he says he knows the thoughts he has for you this morning. God has thoughts for you to prosper you. It means God has thoughts for you to give you his good benefits. God bless and keep you all this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless and keep us even in this time. Father, we ask that you'll just take full control as Elder Muir will be praying for the listeners of HDG Radio. Over to you, Elder Muir. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, I exalt you and I lift you up another time. There is none like you, O God. They call you master. Hallelujah. They call you rabbi, rabbi. Hallelujah. They call you, hallelujah, a prophet. Hallelujah. Isaiah described you as a, a son. He described you as a, a counselor. He described you as the mighty God. He described you as the everlasting father. But yet you are still the prince of peace. This morning, oh God, I pray that you will wash your people, oh God. Let your peace, oh God, flood their lives. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. As they lift you up this morning, oh God, fill their cups, oh God Almighty. Let it overflow, Father Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, there are many pains, oh God Almighty, that your people are walking around with. But this morning, I know that your grace and your mercies, hallelujah, it has brought us through, oh God Almighty. And I glorify you for your goodness unto your people. I command, hallelujah, that this peace, hallelujah, that surpasses all understanding will rest and reside upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray, oh God, that every stormy situations in their lives will be calmed. I pray, Father Jesus, hallelujah, that as they look to you, hallelujah, the rock of our salvation, that your help will burst through the atmosphere and into their lives in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. I pray for that person who is going through suffering, oh God, from the deadly cancer. I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because even though they say that cancer is deadly, we have a God, hallelujah, that is more powerful than death. We have a God that all power cometh from. We have a God, hallelujah, that speak to the waters, hallelujah, that speak to the seas and the seas obey. We speak about the authority of God, hallelujah, that all cancer shall over the listeners will dry up. We speak, oh God, that every infirmity, oh God, will dry up. Oh God, you heal the leprous man, you heal the blind. Oh, glory be to God, you healed the lame, oh God, the, the death. 
every form of infirmity the woman with the issue of blood huh? and you have given us uh, this power lord god almighty as you sent your disciples out uh, in the name of jesus i command every form of sickness affecting the people of god to dry up now in the name of uh, jesus uh, hallelujah as the rain of the oh god stopped in the time of elijah so i command hallelujah everything hallelujah to stop uh, which is causing a distress upon the people of god in the name of jesus have your way in their lives as we give you thanks honor glory and praise in jesus name amen and amen so amen and amen I really want to thank you this morning elder Muir, for sharing this morning inside mpiaw motivation prayer instruction action and worship before you go i want you to go ahead and uh, of course remind the listeners of higher in prayer and of course before you do so i want you to leave some instructions with the listeners of hdg radio the bible says that we should not forget the benefits of god and I realize that many times what causes the people of God to falter is not remembering the stakes. In other words, you have persons that do investment and what they do is to assess whether it's worth doing this or putting their money here. Praise the name of Jesus. The benefits of God, they are sure, 100%. But when the flesh speaks, it makes it feel as if the benefits that you will get in stepping out is better. But the benefits of God stands. Never forget. When something comes to your mind to do, just remember the benefits of God. When you get upset, remember the benefits of God. Hallelujah. The writer said, I've come too far to turn back now. Hallelujah. Too many rivers behind you. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. So I'm saying this morning, forget not his benefits. Glory be to God. I want you to join us tonight in High End Prayer and HGG Radio. Our speaker will be Evangelist Gregory. She'll be coming on tonight to leave us with a word of encouragement and pray for us oh glory be to god i want you to send your prayer request to the number 825-343-4486 send in your prayer request tonight as we take your petition to god be one of those who will leave us and set amen Amen. Amen. Do apologize for the breaking up just now of Elamir, but I know Elamir was imploring us to join us later on inside Higher in Prayer, which comes your way at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time, 8.30 if you're in Jamaica, and of course 9.30 on the Eastern Time Zone. That's the segment Higher in Prayer. Of course, he did mention that Evangelist Gregory, she'll be leading the charge later on in terms of the word. So you can join us later on for Higher in Prayer. Remember to send your prayer request to 825-343-4486. That's 825-343-4486. Again, we really want to thank Elder Muir for coming on. God bless you, sir, as you continue to do the work of the Lord. Stay tuned, listeners of HGG Radio. Don't give up, don't give in. I heard about the story of the man who was about to kill himself. Are you hearing me? Somebody when he went up on a tree, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he had that banana, the last banana of the heat. But somebody was worse when he threw the skin down. Somebody pick it up. Listen to me, somebody. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Somebody's in a worse situation than you. So don't give up. Keep holding on. We feel your glory. Yes, God is about to surround you with his glory. God is about to break somebody. Somebody's about to get that blessing. Hallelujah. That you've been waiting for. Hallelujah. I pronounce a blessing upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus, you shall get strength like Samson. Oh, hallelujah. You shall stretch out the rod like Moses. Oh, somebody, I feel God. You shall do miracle like Elijah. I declare a double portion. We feel glory. is about to bless you. 
For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, mighty through, through God, God to the, the pulling, pulling down, down of strongholds, strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. Join me, Elder Edmund Muir, and the Higher Ground Tabernacle family as we team up with prior warriors from all around the globe to break down walls of oppression and bring victory to your situation. Join us in Higher in Prayer on HGG Radio. This and every Monday night, 7.30 Mountain Standard Time. Send us your prior requests or testimonies to our WhatsApp number 825 343 34486 that's 825 343 4486 in higher in prior until you feel the holy ghost fire see you then there is power in the name of Jesus radio Renee, in collaboration with Total Well Women's Community, presents a women's virtual conference and birthday prayer retreat under the theme, She Was Never Alone, April 25th through 27th. Come join our intercessors for prayer at 4.30 a.m. and 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Here presenters Minister Olive Grant out of Jamaica and Minister Donna Scott out of New York, 7.30 p.m. nightly. It's going to be an amazing, amazing event. Get your tickets early on SpurOpen.com at Totally Well Women's Community Women's Virtual Conference. Listen, save the date. Don't be late. See you online. Get up, 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 get up. Good morning, Jesus. How are you today? You're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. We're cruising all the way until 8 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Right here in the beautiful city of Edmonton. You're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. Son of Abigail Hamilton on this one. Good morning, Jesus. It's a Monday morning, my friends. HGG Radio.
gonna be a good day. This morning I woke up and I looked in the mirror And every part of my body was in place Many people died and never saw this day So another day I live, I appreciate Don't ever wanna act too high and mighty Cause tomorrow I can fall down on my face So in everything, Lord, I give you praise And I put a smile on my face Lord, I thank you for sunshine, thank you for rain, thank you for joy, thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day, beautiful day, it's a beautiful day. Don't fuss and fight, let us unite, we got one life. Shadows of death Then I will say no evil won't be this made When I see the clock ticking away And things are not in place Everything in life happens for a reason Disappointment comes with a lesson It's a leader to get wiser Got to work harder In the end it will get better For rain, thank you for joy, thank you for pain. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Don't fuss and fight. Let us unite. We got one life, so let's make it right. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day.
GG Radio. Oh, what's a liberty to stand behind a God who no one can contend with? Listen! Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Son of Arville, Cool Shade, Sullivan on this one. Victory belongs to Jesus. We heard from Abigail Hamilton. Good morning, Jesus. Jermaine Edwards, beautiful day. It's almost that time. It's almost that time to pull curtains down. We have a few more songs to go through this morning. Victory. Really want to thank you for being on board. Keep it locked in right here on HGG Radio. It belongs to him. And I may say, who can stay? Can stand the Lord? Nobody. No one can. No one will. No one will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me say, who can stay?
South. Join me, Brother Rodney, weekdays, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. through to 6 p.m. on HGG Radio for Higher Praise. Reaching you are the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Come for the music, stay for the worship, where we educate, inform, and uplift your soul. From 4 p.m. through to 6 p.m., this and every weekdays, right here on HGG Radio. You don't want to miss it. A revolution is coming to the Hope of Glory Morning Show. Get ready for the pulsating, electrifying, inspiring, and motivating two hours of music, word, health, and wealth. Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Right here on HGG Radio, join me, your host, Rashane Douglas, the Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's the new time for the Hope of Glory Morning Show, Mondays to Fridays from 6 to 8 a.m. Right here on HGG Radio. Visit our website, hggradio.ca, or download the HGG Radio mobile app. See you soon. HGG Radio. Calling all believers. Are you continuing steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine? Join us right here on HGG Radio, Mondays to Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST and 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. EST for a new and exciting Bible discussion program, The Apostles' Doctrine. Come and hear the word being rightly divided by dynamic preachers and teachers. It's The Apostles' Doctrine, hosted by Minister Tyrone Reed, weekdays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. MST. Come for the fellowship. Stay for Cerebral conversations and all things scriptural. HGG Radio. The Morning Show is sponsored by All Style Construction. For all your general construction needs, commercial and residential cabinet making, visit their website, allstyleconstruction.ca or give them a call at 780-484-888. The Islands of the Sea. You're tuned to Higher Ground Gospel Radio. This is where we put a wrap on the Hope of Glory Morning Show for today, Monday, April 8, 2024. You're in the land of the living. If it had not been for the Lord on your side, tell me, where would you be? God is indeed amazing, my friends. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. The Lord bless you and keep you. Of course, before I go, you know I have to leave these words with you and declare these words over you. The hand of the Lord rests mightily upon you. The Spirit of the living God dwells within you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I declare this morning that you are blessed in the city, you are blessed in the field, you are blessed in your going out, you are blessed in your coming in. And guess what, my friends? You are blessed when you keep it locked in to HGG Radio, Higher Ground Gospel Radio, reaching you at the highest mountain and the lowest valley. Again, it was my pleasure sharing with you this morning inside the Hope of Glory Morning Show. My friend Gladys Simmons, Rasheen, and everybody, what do you think about the eclipse that's about to happen today? I really don't know what to say, my friends. It's the first, not the first time we're seeing an eclipse, but we pray that God will continue to bless his people. I believe that because an eclipse is coming, let's see it as a blessing. A blessing awaits you on this day that you're about to see that eclipse.
Whatever happens, if the weather pattern is changing, if you're seeing snow, if you're seeing rain, if you're seeing sunshine, if you're seeing the moon, if you're seeing the sun, if you're seeing an eclipse, God is still blessing you, my friend. That's all I have to say this morning. Three minutes approaching eight o'clock Mountain Standard Time. Three minutes approaching nine o'clock if you're in Jamaica. Three minutes approaching ten o'clock if you're on the Eastern Time Zone. God bless you richly. May the Lord just keep you. Hey, hey. Make His face to shine upon you. Remember to keep it locked into HGG Radio. I wanted to stand by. May the Lord just turn His face. Of course, in a little while. May the Lord just turn his face. We're going to pull things down. And of course, I, I, there is no program set as yet for 8 to 10 o'clock. But of course, and a new announcer will be coming in that segment very soon. So you'll get to hear more about that. But in the meantime, I want to remind you, coming up at 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, it's going to be time for the morning flow with Pastor Odette Thompson. She joins us at 10 o'clock. I believe there's going to be a book launch today. Not a book launch, but an interview about a brand new book release. You're going to hear more about that inside of the morning flow. Immediately following the morning flow, it's going to be time for Higher Drive. We want to continue to pray for our beloved sister, Denise. She's not feeling 100%. But there's a surprise that's coming at 12 noon inside the higher drive. You have to stay tuned for that surprise. Won't tell you uh, so much about what's going to be happening that time. But there's a surprise that's going to be happening inside higher drive, which comes your way from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Also coming up at 12 o'clock, it's uh, not 12 o'clock, but 2 o'clock. It's going to be time for the Apostles' Doctrine with uh, Minister Tyrone Reed. Immediately following that will be time for Higher Praise with Brother Rodney. Later on, you get to hear Higher Word and, of course, Higher in Prayer with Elder Edmund Muir. It comes your way at 7.30. So, so many things to look forward to right here at HGG Radio. You have to keep it locked in, my friends. So, remember, there's a surprise that's going to be coming at 12 noon. Maybe you're in Jamaica. It's going to be at 1 p.m. If you're on the Eastern Time Zone, it's going to be at 2 p.m. So you have to tune into HGG Radio at that time to witness that surprise. All right. Gospel Radio, owned and operated by Higher Ground Tabernacle Ministry. We are located at 